What's going on, world? Thank you for tuning in to the Fat Podcast. Fellas at the table, that's F-A-T-T. I'm your host, Lamar Wilson, coming to you for week number three. Week number three, we are in week number three. Let me get a round of applause for that one. Your boy's consistent on it. I know I'm got a big head. I know I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how consistent you are, you know, moving forward. But I am hyped. I am excited about this episode. I am truly appreciated all the love and respect and comments and shares that I'm getting. I have opened up a Instagram page called The Fat Podcast. You can reach that uh, by just logging on to Instagram, search The Fat Podcast, and, uh, you know, uh, follow, and I'll follow back. Got no, got no pride or ego following back. I want to make sure, you know, uh, that, you know, we're showing each other love. And, guys, week three fellas podcast and if this is your first time listening to this podcast if this is your first time you know checking this out let me just give you a a, a, a brief bio the fat podcast f-a-t-t is fellas at the table and this podcast is designed to uh help men become better men while being a man and if that makes any sense, but I have a slogan, I honestly, I just totally forgot what it was, but anyway, it's helping men become better men while dealing as a man, something like that, anyway, alright, so guys, you know, you know me, I, I listen, I ain't trying to be all perfect and all that stuff, but I'll get it, I'll memorize it, so next, on the next episode, I'll have it down pat, um, but, I wanted to jump on this uh, uh, this podcast because I'm doing a little thing different. I'm, I'm right now. I'm driving home. I just came out of work um, uh, late, and I wanted to get I wanted to get this episode in because I didn't get a chance to get it in uh, last night. Um, was just getting ready for our family trip that um, that we're getting ready to uh, go this week. We will be on and. Uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and uh, this for the next five days family trip. My wife, my kids, my wife's brother, my brother in law. Uh, we will be out in beautiful South Carolina, and it's crazy, you know. Just, just a quick side note yo, why is it that everybody gotta have a fast and furious moment? You know, late at night. Everybody's trying to get home safe. Or trying to get where they're going safe. Like, so if you on the road and you're doing uh, 90 or 100, and, you know, and, and you, you know, you, and in this cars, you don't know who's in the car. You don't know, uh, you don't know what, what's, you know, who, who's sitting in that, in that, in that seat. So, like, yo, like, really, slow down. Like, and if, and if you feel like you need to speed and do all that stuff, you'll leave earlier. Because when you get pulled over, you mad at the cops. No, you mad at yourself, you got caught. But God forbid, you cause an accident. And you cause more damage than anything because you don't, because in your pride, you feel like you got to be the fastest person on the road. Like, it ain't that serious. Like, you don't got to show, oh, my car's fast. Like, that, it ain't even that deep. It ain't that serious. Relax. Anyway, I'm sorry. I, I, I just had to get that off that thing because, I mean, it's a, I'm, just tired of, I'm just tired of seeing that every time I'm on the road. And listen, I, I ain't on that driving slow thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just do my speed. I, I'm not in no rush. I don't rush for nothing. I don't rush for nothing. I promise you, if I know I need to be there at 6, I'm there at 6.45, 6.30. So I, I, I ain't rushing for nothing. But I, I ain't on no, on, I ain't on no uh, driving this daisy. I'll tell you that quick. But anyway, so we're doing our 
first family vacation to Myrtle Beach. And the reason why I'm so excited about this one, because normally we spend time in Orlando. Uh, we'll do some stuff out in Tampa. We'll do some stuff uh, in New York. Um, some stuff outside the country. But um, I really wanted to bring it back to when I went on vacation, when I noticed I was on vacation. And that was Myrtle Beach. Uh, my mom took me when I was a young, I was a young little scrapper, um, and I just remember getting to Myrtle Beach. So shout out to all my Myrtle Beach listeners. If you from South Carolina, if you're in that Myrtle Beach area, uh, drop a like, drop a comment, uh, let me know you're there. Um, but I remember um, getting on the uh, uh, bus. Um, my mom rented out a bus and brought a lot of people from my neighborhood. We went to Myrtle Beach. And I remember it being this Ferris wheel and, and, uh, and this carnival right on the beach. And we stayed at the day's end. And I just remember having so much fun. We had matching Yankee jerseys uh, that we that we had uh, that we all wore uh, to let people know we from New York. And that's that's the memory I always keep back to my, my mind about, you know, those vacations that my mom took us on and the, the, the crab feast to Maryland and stuff. And I remember that and I, I always appreciate that. I always, I always like say like my mom was super dope for always like taking the time to make things like that happen. Very dope with my mom. Rest in peace, mom. I love you. I miss you so, so much. And I will, um, I'm planning on making sure that I, I do, uh, have a um, episode dedicated to my mom, my my uncle Robert, my brother David, um, my my two best friends Nigel Polite, Javier Hines, um, my dad. Um, but that's gonna be down the line. But just wanna you know let me bring back the spirit because I know I, I don't want to talk about death and everything. I know it's a sad moment, but I just had to shout out people that I love. Um, so. Now, so we're getting on this vacation, and we are getting ready, and I want my kids to experience this, um, this, uh, uh um, this, uh, I want to say vacation, do I want to say vacation, or do I want to say, um, just experience this, uh, different, uh, exposure, um, than the normal stuff that we do. And, and, and it would also be great for my um, my wife as well because she she grew up her vacations were mainly uh, um, Egypt and so she got older and she was able to go do her own thing and, and, and pay for her own trips and, and, and so on um, but the majority of her trips as a as a young girl uh, it was just Egypt that's where it was it was not there was nothing extra okay so um so i, I believe that i you know and i and i i trust in god that this is going to be a great vacation for everybody it's going to be new and exciting and uh you know it's going to open the eyes that they we went to somewhere else so i'm really looking forward to it um another great thing is that we're going to be in myrtle beach on the beach hanging out chilling uh, sightseeing and, and, and taking lots of pictures and doing our thing. Uh, that's you know that's great. So I'll be out there next week. Okay. So for all my South Carolina people, Myrtle Beach people, uh, please hit your boy up. Okay. Um, and uh, you know and say what's up. Let me know. You, let me know uh, what's going on. Tell me some good spots, some good food spots because I love to eat. Um, uh, some nice family events uh, or spots we could go to. Let me know. I'm, I'm being your town in your city doing doing my thing. So uh, that's there. Um, that and what what else is going on with the kid? Oh uh, man, uh, I just want to just one. I wanna, let me just say this. Shout out to my 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 man, my mentor, uh, Quest Green. Uh, just spending a lot of time with him, um, learning, um, getting to 
soaking in so much information about marriage and 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 moving away from the old me to the new me and, and uh, adjusting to that and, uh, and adjusting to my my vision board and the things I want for my vision board. And I'm gonna tell you guys, when you are dedicated to a vision for what you want in your life, it is hard. It's not supposed to be easy. I'm going to say that again. What you want for your life, what you want for your goals, what you want for your family, what you want for your health, what you want for your finances, what you want for your uh, friends, your environment, what you want, everything that consists around you, it will not come easy. The reason why we don't want it to be easy is because we want it to value more than what we say. If you want it easy, it will be taken away easy. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that because I know if somebody gave me a car which was in good shape and I start having problems, I will spend more time complaining about why why someone gave me this type of car than me actually going and fixing it. But if I know I saved my money, I did my research, I, I, I went to the dealership, I knew what I wanted, I got what I wanted, and then something happened, I'm going to invest more into it because I know I did the work. And here's the problem. A lot of you are not doing the work, but you want the award. And this is why we fall short. So what I'm telling you is that when I look at my vision board and the stuff that me and God put together, and I'm asking myself, why, God, is this being so hard? Why is it being so complicated? Why is it being where it's like, yo, why can't I connect in this area? Why am I not... And, and, and uh, uh, getting this here, and God's saying, "You are getting there, but on my terms, my steps, my speed. I have to break you in order for me to get the new you out of you." Okay, we gotta just let that sit for a little bit. I have to break you. I have to. All the old stuff, all the old you, all the, the habits and, and, and how you react to things and all this stuff, I got to get that out of you. I'm pulling all this out of you. You ever like, okay, you ever say like, I don't, you ever been to a situation where like you, you got, you want to find a shirt or a pair of jeans you want to wear, it's in the hamper and you like, you know, you got to wash it. Now, in a perfect world, you just wash your clothes, but you really just want to wash this shirt and you're pulling. And I probably could have used a better example. And you're pulling, and you're pulling all these clothes out and everywhere. And you can right? Until you find exactly what you want. And you grab it. And now you go wash it. And now you got that confidence and that and that amb and that ambition and passion of doing you know, and, and wearing them, and, and wherever you're going, and whatever you're doing, you know, you feel confident, right? Because you, because you got out of all the stuff, and you got what you actually needed, and that's what it is. God has to move all the old stuff out of that hamper to get the 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 person, the thing that he wants more out of, pull it out, and make sure, hey. This is what I want for you. This is what I have for you. You know? And that's where I feel like we're at. Where I got to get rid of the, the, the friends that's not doing you any justice. I got to get rid of the family members that's always criticizing. And always trying to break you down because they can't do what you do. And they know they can't do what you do. Or they can do what they do. Do what you do. But, and, but. But they do it, they can't, they don't have the heart. They don't have the heart to do what you do 
in a sense of making things happen. So they have to break you down so you can remain on their level. And and sometimes they don't mean no harm. It's just because they just don't know how to, you know what? I I don't have the heart to do it, but I can I but I know how to do it. Or I know what to do, and then you know what? I'm gonna help you do it, and I'm gonna live through you. And because what I want you to understand, son, there are number two people in the world, and there are number one people in the world, and there's and so on. And so many people that feel like they should be number ones, they fell over and over because they spent more time trying to be number ones and God said I made you a number two but number two is so, is so important and it does not take away your craft or your or, or your ability to be great when being at number two it doesn't take you're not a, you're not less than a person you're not you're not if, if you look at Pippin number two look at Shaq number two like these people are, are, are they know their role but they make the best of their role and and I, and, I, and I want you to understand that like yo I there are times you're gonna be in the number one spot and there's gonna be times you're gonna be number two you're not gonna always be number two you're not always gonna be number one but in the areas that you know you need to be the number two play your role play your role. Your time will come when you're number one. Your time will come when you're number two. And the number ones is vice versa. You're sweet in one area, but you're not in the other area. Play your role. Play your role. This is why this is why I'm, I'm so excited about this episode. Because so much stuff is going on, uh, you know, with me and the stuff that I'm doing. And, and what I'm learning, I learned this week. That I cannot. Okay, I want to make sure I say this, and, and I don't mean no disrespect. I understand that what God has for me, I cannot bring anybody out uh, uh, with me. I'm gonna say that again. What me and God put together this for this year, I can't take nobody with me unless He brings them. I don't have no authority on bringing anybody. I can't bring my cousin. I can't bring my best friend. I can't bring my brother. I can't bring my kids. I can't bring my wife. I can't bring my my financial advisor. I can't bring my lawyer. I can't bring anybody that God did not approve and bring from, from from his work. And and, 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 it's, and I mean it in no disrespect, but I cannot bring anybody that he did not approve. And what he is saying to me is that, son, I need you to do this by yourself first. If you're going to go get the help, then you don't need to do it. You have no clue on what you're doing. I need you to have some sense of, of knowledge because... If you at least can get the foundation somewhat down, at least I could bring you some people that know how to build the house. But you just go right off the rip. I need this person. Let me go get this person. You know, when you go search for people to help you with your goals, you are delaying your process more and more. You are delaying your process. Every time you go start looking for things, looking for people, trying to connect with people, trying to network, and God saying, son, girl, I gave you everything you need. They will come. You just have to learn how to be resourceful or be the resource. And I think that's where a lot of us, including myself, get get caught up in am I a resource or am I being resourceful either one I want to be 
Whatever God want me to be this year, I'm going to be it. I'm not playing around with God. I'm not, he's not playing around with me. And when I say I'm not playing around with God, I'm talking about there's things that God want me to do. I'm doing it. I'm not asking questions. I'm not second guessing. If God tell me to get up, I'm getting up. If God tell me to stop, I'm stopping. If God tell me to love, I'm loving. If God tell me to leave it alone, I'm leaving it alone. If God tell me to pour in, I'm pouring in. I want everything that God got for me. I want everything. I'm tired of being short-handed every year. And I don't blame that on God. I blame that on myself. I want everything. Everything he, he asked for. Everything he asked for, I want everything. Everything I asked for, I want it. And I know there's gonna be, I know there's gonna be some things that it don't, it don't sit comfortable with me. I know that. I know there's gonna be some things that I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like questioning. I know, I know that. But I promise you, everything that he asked for, everything that he want, I want. 